Hello, American truckers. How's everybody out there doing? Hope you're staying safe and out of trouble. Uh, you got to bear with me fighting these allergies. They're kicking my butt. And as y'all know, as a truck driver, most of this allergy medication we can't take. So got to deal with it. <clears throat> I just got to deal with it. Anyway, 10 ways to know your lot lizard is a cop. Ain't nothing more embarrassing than getting arrested and sitting up in the hooskow, you know, and people asking, what are you in here for while I was trying to buy a lot lizard? You know, I mean, that's, that, that would be bad. That would be real bad. <laughs> kind of funny, but bad. Not only that, but having to explain to your wife that you're in jail because you were trying to replace her with a expensive toothless hooker that's not that's not gonna go over too well i don't believe anyway if you're new to the channel please like and subscribe we do everything here trucking related um including how to know your lot lizard not a cop me personally i don't mess with lot lizards i've outgrown all that by a long shot um i'm too old viagra is too expensive and it's just not my thing but your boy Snapper here is going to help you out. Yes, yes, indeed. I'm going to help you out. All right. Well, let's jump into this. Number one, look at her calves. Lot lizards walk a lot. They walk to the dope man's house. They walk truck stops. You know, so look at them calves. You know, if, if it looks like she's sitting at a desk or riding around in a car a lot, it's probably not a lot lizard. Good chance. That's a cop. Next thing you can do is when you're conversating with her on the lot, look back over her shoulder and say, is that a cop? If that woman hits the ground and tries to crawl up under your tractor, then she's probably a lot lizard. If she turns around real slowly to look and see if that's a cop, like it's her long lost brother coming into the lot, better get away from her. That's probably a cop. Does she stand? And then a num a number three, does she stand like she's used to having a gun on her hip? You know, them belts, some cops wear them big old belts. Does she stand there kind of with her hip kicked to the side? If you ever watch the way a cop stands, they stand that way even when they don't have a weapon on them or, or whatever. They always have that certain stance. Is she standing like that? If she is, good chance she might be a cop. So I want to keep an eye on that. Number four, and my favorite of them all, is the titty check. You're probably sitting there thinking, well, titty check. Yes, the titty check. Them, on a lot lizard, them titties are going to look one of two different ways, okay? Either they're all sucked in. And almost non-existent from all the years of doing drugs and not eating. Or the nipples are going to be looking at the floor and almost at her belly button. All right. It's going to be one of the two. If they look like they're where they're supposed to be in an order, that is probably a cop. All right. So remember that. Take a look at those titties. Work your way from the calves. Work your way up to the titties. Say, hey, is that a cop coming in? And as she turns, look at those titties real good. Are they almost non-existent? Or do they look like they're pointing, the nipples are pointing at the ground and almost at her belly button? You're, you're, you're probably good to go if they're pointing at the ground and at her belly button or non-existent. If they look, like, if, if they look through her shirt like they're supposed to be, probably a cop. All right. Number five, does she look like she's been awake for two days? Lot lizards are on drugs. You ain't going to find a sober lot lizard, all right? If she looks fresh and like she ain't been awake for two days and strung out, probably a cop. You know, and, and you know them cops, they'll smear that makeup and stuff on their face, try to make them look like they've been awake for two days. But, babe, we've all been around these streets long enough to know what a person looks like when they've been awake for two days. You know what I'm saying? 
So that's number five. Number six, and this kind of goes along with number five. Is she sober or is she under the influence? It, them lot lizards stay up for days working these lots, you know, and, and they'll work a lot all night and they'll go get high all day. Then they'll go back, work a lot all night, go back, get high all day. So they're up for days and days and days. Okay. And they're always under the influence. They're always under on something. Meth. Meth or crack normally. Or both. You know, so. You look at those eyes. Is she sober? Them pupils dilated? You know, is she talking 200 miles an hour? Is her head on swivel? Is she bouncing around? Does she look like she's ready to, you know, uh, earn, earn that money and clean your truck and, and polish your rims and do it all at the same time because she got so much energy. All right, you know, so keep that in mind. If she's sober, probably a cop. Number seven, is it daylight outside? Look, most lot lizards are like vampires. They're scared of the sun. The sun, they're just scared of it. If it's sunny outside, they don't want to be out there. As soon as that sun starts to go down, you know, they come out. They come out. You, you know, you remember old Freddy Cougar movies, you know, when you go to sleep, that's when you dream. Well, it's kind of the same thing. When the sun goes down, they come out. And a lot of times, they come out looking like vampires. They've been up for two days. Uh, Titty's staring at the floor. Uh, you know, the, the only thing in shape on them is their calves bouncing around 200 miles an hour you know uh talking your head off telling you a, a lie and a, and a truth at the same time all right number eight is she in a hurry a lot of lizards are always in a hurry they're trying to hit that lick and go get them some dope they're the only thing on their mind is dope they don't forgot about everything else they're not even going to remember you in 20 minutes, you know, but that's what they're, that that's what they're doing. That's their main purpose is to hit that lick and go get them some dope. Go get them another, another crack rock, couple crack rocks. Go get them, uh, uh, you know, I never did, you know, what, whatever they call meth, go get them a hit of meth or, uh, go get them a shot of heroin or whatever it is that they're into. You know, so they're always going to be in a hurry. Number nine. Does she have all her teeth? All right. This is a big one. A lot of lizards are going to be missing at least one tooth. You know, somebody somewhere done slapped the hell out of them and knocked a tooth out. Pimp done slapped them and knocked a tooth out. Or uh, they, they done smoked smoke the tooth away. Whatever you want to call it, they're going to be missing missing at least one tooth. They're not going to have perfect teeth. If they got perfect teeth, you might really shoot suspect. That might be a cop. You might want to really be careful with that. Normally, they're going to have false teeth or no no teeth or uh, uh, two teeth in their head. You know that kind of thing. It's going to you know what I'm saying. You know, so check her teeth. Make sure she's not a cop. You don't you don't want to get hemmed up. You know, thinking you caught the only lot lizard in the country with perfectly natural teeth. Because odds are you didn't. And your next stop is going to be the local county jail. Number 10. Last but not least. Does she have on perfume? Lot lizards don't wear perfume. They smell like the last three truck drivers they was with. All right. Stand at the door of a truck stop. And get a good whiff every time drivers go by you walking inside. That's what a lot lizard is going to smell like. If she smells like perfume, probably ain't no lot lizard, bub. That's probably a cop. Cops going to put on perfume and try to smell good. Because they think lot, lot lizards do that. Lot lizards don't do that. Lot lizards don't care what they smell like. They know you haven't been with a woman probably in the last three or four weeks. They don't care. They know you don't care what they smell like. They're going to smell like the last two or three drivers they've been with. All right. 
and and it and they're probably going to smell like your neighbor, you know, or a couple trucks down. So stand at the door, get a good whiff every time drivers walk in, and then you'll know what that lot lizard's supposed to smell like. And if she don't smell like that, she's suspect. That's ten ways to know your lot lizard is not a cop or is a cop, whatever way you want to look at it. The best way to do it, though, drivers, is like your boy old Snapper, and that's to leave them all alone. Whether you think she's a cop or not, it don't matter. Number one, you're going to save your money. Number two, you ain't got to worry about catching herpes, AIDS, gonorrhea, syphilis, uh, whatever. You ain't got to worry about it. And number three, you can laugh and have fun sitting up front watching them climb in and out of other trucks. That's always entertaining. Well, as always, y'all stay safe, be kind to one another, and let's keep trucking. Old Snapper, I'm out.